I'm Stuart Thompson, editor of Digital TV Europe. I'm here with Hans Jurgen Dessor, who is the CEO of iWedia. Uh, Hans Jurgen, can you tell me a little bit about iWedia's role in the industry and particularly about your role in the development of uh, Android TV? So iWidia is proud of serving major telco operators around the world by providing a client set of box developments. And we're doing this based on our software IP that we license to these guys and also help them with system integration and end-to-end -end validation in their networks. And as being an independent software vendor and system integrator, we provide a great freedom for those guys then to choose the rest of the ecosystem partners. And we are, we are one of the first incumbents of Android uh, for operating system for consumer electronics devices, even back to 2009 when it still was Google TV back then. What would you say are your key product offerings? Our key product offerings are anything that needs to be done for complete uh, receiver function in the set-top box. That's, there's everything from broadcast to broadcast stacks, OTT, IPTV, multicast, uh, ABR clients, broadcast stacks, and then we integrated that also with the uh, uh, network components, device management, and up to UI level also, as you can see later in the demos here, we provide a native implementation of the launcher that you need for Android TV devices. And who are the main customers for, for these uh, services and products? So typically we are engaged with operators directly. Our biggest ones are the ones that you see here. We Telecom is a long-standing partner of ours. We have NTT, Docomo in Japan as one of our key partners. Right behind on the screen is a True Vision in Thailand, who just recently launched an OTT and soon also hybrid boxes with us. We have also Reliance Geo in India as customers and uh, America uh, Mobile in LATAM, Deutsche Telekom in Germany. So really the list is long and we have a global presence even though we are based in Central Europe. What would you say is the company's USP? What are your main strengths? Yeah, so the key strengths is actually a combination between a complete IP portfolio that you need to have and it's also uh, a serviced IP portfolio. So unlike open source software that you hear all the time, uh, there's no one that you can call on if the problem has a, uh, in, the, in the device. So in this case, we never leave our customers alone. We fix the problems, we help them from end to end. And we do this either from very deep level on the device level up to uh, application levels and even in the integration when the box is deployed in the homes. If there's a problem like connecting to HDMI, the screen goes dark, we analyze the problem where it is and then help the customers to do that. At the same time also we have a really scalable team. We are now the almost up to 250 people working for our customers at pretty attractive costs as we do our services based out, out of Serbia. Finally, can you tell me a little bit about what you see as the key future trends and how are you responding to those? So today we see that the uh, OTT services are pretty much for mobile and for living room devices. We have taken decisions to invest into uh, automotive as being the next extended uh, living room for you and me, where if you look a bit down the road with autonomous vehicles giving more free time for passengers and for even the drivers to consume and enjoy content in the car, that is where we're investing now that we have OTT services being uh, delivered to cars and with the same quality of experience that you used to in your living room. And this we're doing together with our uh, shareholder TT Tech of Austria, who is in the autonomous driving, strongly uh, engaged in security and safety solutions there. Hans Jürgen, thanks very much. Thank you very much, Stuart.